In this video, I'll demonstrate how I set up my electronic drum tracks with Logic Pro using an audio interface. I'll walk through the entire setup and the configuration, the creation and modification of the track, and play a sound demo as I walk through the process. Let's take a look at the equipment I'll be using in this demo. This is the electronic drum kit I'll be using in this video, the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit. The Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 audio interface which has 10 inputs and 10 outputs and much much more. And the MacBook Pro which hosts Logic Pro. This is one of the two Thump 15A speaker monitors that I'll be using in this demo. A side note, I'll often use headphones when I want to get a closer listen or when I need to be quiet when I'm playing my drums. Let's start by getting everything set up. The first thing we'll need to do is to use this MIDI cord to connect the electronic drum module to the audio interface. This is the back of the Alesis drum module, which has ports for both MIDI out and MIDI in. We'll use the MIDI out to send the signal to the Scarlett audio interface. This is the back of the Scarlett audio interface. It also has ports for MIDI out and MIDI in. We'll plug into the MIDI in port to receive the signal from the electronic drums. Next, we'll power up the electronic drums using the Alesis drum module power button. Now, we'll connect the thump monitor speakers to the audio interface with a quarter inch cable. This is done by plugging one end of the cable into the back of the speaker and the other end into the output port on the audio interface. next thing to do is to connect the audio interface to the MacBook Pro using a USB cable. I am plugging into a USB hub which then connects to my MacBook Pro. Now we'll take a look at how I set up Logic Pro. Now that everything is set up, it's time to launch Logic Pro on the MacBook. Set the audio preferences so that Logic Pro can recognize your audio interface. I will set both my inputs and outputs to use the Scarlett audio interface. Create a new file by clicking on the file drop down list and selecting new. Close the current file you are working on and select the software instrument track 
and then click the Create button. If the instrument library isn't visible, click here. Now that the instrument library is visible, let's select a drum kit. I prefer to use the Logic Pro Producer kits, so I'll go ahead and select the heavy Logic Pro Producer drum kit. The reason why I prefer to use Producer kits is because it allows you to control every piece of your drum kit as you can see by clicking here. Finally, don't forget to set your output source. I'll choose the stereo output option for my speakers. Now that we have our drum track set up, let's take a listen to what it sounds like. In the following demo, you hear the output from the iPhone I am recording on, including the sound of my sticks hitting the drums and cymbals. I will also be recording with Logic Pro, which we will hear and mix following this demo, which will not include the sound of the sticks hitting the drum pieces. Now we'll listen to what it sounds like in Logic Pro. Next, we'll take a closer look at these producer kits and I'll demo how changing the different settings can greatly enhance the sound of your drums. Next, I'll demo how smart controls are another great tool to enhance your drum kit sound. If the smart control panel is not visible, click here. Multipressor plugin is the final tool I'll demo to improve your sound. If the inspector panel is not visible, click here. Add the multipressor plugin like this.
Let's take a quick look at my drummer throne that I use to sit on, the Rock and Sock drummer throne. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the drummer throne I use while playing the drums, the Rock and Sock drummer throne. Not only is it well designed, it is also adjustable and sturdy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below.